Hi everyone, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you. My name is Sarah and I'm a fluid figurative artist. Now today is a special piece, I want to do a bright doe shining in the sky and um, I didn't like this first pour that I did even though two of the birds look beautiful so I'm just going to scrape everything and redo again. So I decided to change the background color to a little bit more purplish so that the yellow will stand a little bit more so now I'm just going to cover the whole base again with this new color it's Christmas week and I want to make a dove descending from the heavens so it has to be really bright and really sharp like the lightning struck during the daytime so it has to have that kind of effect and that's what I'm trying to do with this pour Recently, I've been spending a lot of time with the Bible and so I really want this season and this Christmas week to really remind me of what Jesus has done in our lives or in my life particularly and that is why I want to honor Him with this piece. In the book of John, when Jesus was baptized, a dove descended down from the heavens and entered Jesus and that is why I want this to be a significant piece and I want to have that dove effect to really uh, be a symbol of Christmas for this season so here I've prepared my gold and I'm just going to prepare all those uh, yellow tones to go with it so this is a metallic yellow and then I'll add this light cream yellow tint of orangey yellow just a little bit and then I'm going to touch everything to burst all the air bubbles and lastly I'm just going to top with an infinity white there the colors are already looking so gorgeous so now I'm just going to touch everything then I'm going to blow the paints out Ever since I started fluid art, it has been always my purpose to manipulate the paints using just the hair dryer to see if I can form shapes with just a hair dryer. <laughs> and so the more I practice, the more I've mastered it. And I want, in this piece particularly, you can actually see how I manipulate the wind of the hair dryer to form the shapes of the wings and the body of the dove. So you can really see it clearly in this video of how shape manipulation is with air so this is really cool and this is a technique that I've developed and uh, in a sense that you know I've uh, practiced till I've mastered the way of um, of manipulating the flow to fit certain positions that I want This part will be the body and then the down part will be the tail. Now that I like the shape, I'll just use a palette knife to assist me for the top part, for the head and the big part. Oops, the big is a bit too long. But I'm going to adjust it again. So I'm just going to pour more paint so that the tail will have more flare and substance in it. I'm going to touch it as much as I can 
because I don't want it to have many tiny cells. And then I'm just gonna blow the tail downwards. It's already looking so fabulous. So pretty smooth. Just can't wait for this to dry because the yellow is gonna be so vivid, bright and astounding. Like the whole thing is just gonna pop up really well. So it'd be really really awesome to see it when it dries, of course. So this is the body part and I'm just going to make sure that I do not destroy the form of it and because of that I have to make sure that I blew it really precisely to form the contour of the bird. So this is how I manipulate the hair dryer and that is why small hair dryers are so good for details because the first few times when I first did this I had been blowing it with my mouth the form shape and it was hard work by the end of the day I couldn't even stand up straight because I got so dizzy from blowing all the air out but now I'm smarter I use a smaller hair dryer to form shapes with the air just I have to be really precise and know the ways to turn the hair dryer to form shapes so this is really interesting and that is one of the reasons why I decided to paint using a fluid art pour technique For the final round, I'm just going to narrow down the neck and collar area of the bird. And as you can see, the paste keeps flowing back to the center or it keeps pulling into the center. So we're going to inflate that area again and we're almost done. Now this is the final outcome. Just look at the gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Just look at the lacing, the tiny details of this pore. I really love the simplicity and the complexity of this pour. Um, I hope you like this video and if you really do like this video and the works that I do, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button for new updates from me. Thank you for your support all the time and have a great, great holiday. I'll see you guys again soon. Take care all, stay safe, keep warm and God bless you. Bye!